Okay. I want to talk about signing your application and identity management and how you get the SHA-1 hash of your project in order to uh, sign up for a key restriction. Okay, so what does all this mean? Um, um, you can look up app signing. Oh boy, it's not quite the right size. But there's a web page um, that talks about app signing and what's the deal with certificate and key stores. And it's worth reading uh, the beginning. But basically, um, public key certificate, also known as a digital certificate, oh boy, contains the public key, public key, private pair. Basically, anytime you create a app, you have to sign it. When you are creating an app for real, you sign it with some identity that you basically get from Google. Um, but in order to make development easy and uh, have a minimum of setup, there is an insecure way to sign your debug build. Okay, so those, that's the details. Mechanically, what do you do? Because you'll get um, an error message if you get like, a, uh, it, you know, if you try to use an API key and it doesn't work, you might get an error message here which has your uh, sort of um, signature. But let's say you want to generate it. Oh, gosh. Oh, sort of sort of uh, open the kimono a little early there. So you go over here to, to Gradle. This is in whatever app you're doing. And you come down to whatever app you're building. You know, most of the time, uh, you just have an app up here. And you go to Tasks, Android, Signing Report. And if you double click it, you see down here it says Executing Signing Report. And here, this is the certificate. So let's see, let's go all the way up to the top. So this is a signing report for a debug build, and you can sign your debug build and your release build with different keys. Um, this shows where you're storing your keys. So it doesn't really matter where, it's probably gonna be in the C directory for most of you. This shows the name of the key, which Android debug key is the debug key. This is MD5 is a particular hash algorithm. SHA-1 is a more secure hash algorithm. And here it is. That is our um, certificate that identifies this app. Now, it really doesn't, it's not specific to the app. It's specific to me uh, and my debug key, which is generated randomly for you when you start Android Studio. And it expires, I think, after a year. Oh, wait, valid until no? Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't expire for a long time. Um, yeah, I guess it used to expire after a year, and people didn't like that. So this is, uh, oh, no, this is also, this is also a debug key. Right, and you can see it, sort of, it ends in the same uh, FE7D. Uh, so, yeah, these are all the debug keys. So um, I believe when you click the signing report, it will do it for all the keys that you have. Yeah, here, um, here's the release. Well, let's release unit test. Yeah, here it is, variant release. It's there's, there's, no, there's nothing configured. Okay, once you do this, when you go up here, um, you know, if, if you just hit um, play, you're just gonna generate another signing report. If you want to go back to actually building, you have to choose app. Okay, and that's how you get your um, certificate, which you can then um, use to uh, get permissions for a particular API key, which I'll talk about in a different video. Thank you.